miracles I've gotten since the Golden Age of Tech 2 was released, it's the miracle of LRH to experience it at the speed and the certainty that you're going through. It's a miracle. I've been winning non-stop. <laughs> there was not a single minute I wasn't winning. It just gets better and better, even though I think it can't get better. Having the knowledge, you know, of, from the golden age of knowledge and bringing it to the golden age of tech phase two, it makes it a whole new level. It's almost supernatural. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because before it was like me and Scientology was separated, and now I feel like have it in me, you know, it's like going through my veins. And I can almost smell Run's ink. I mean, it's so much him. You're just, you're hooked. And I'm hooked on the bridge, I can tell you that. I want to keep going, I want to do more. <laughs> I'm boom, boom, moving so fast. Flying up the bridge. There's no stops, you just keep going. Now, Academy became part of my life. It became my best friend. It became actually my home. Now, after doing a student hat, it's like you're absorbing the information right off the page. It's not even reading anymore. You're just looking at words and bam, you're getting concept here, concept there. And the cognitions are faster, such that between one second and two seconds later, you have like the space of three or four weeks of, of cognition. It became so fast and faster and faster. At the end of the student head, I was a fast student. And I can learn anything. I mean, you can send me to NASA now. I'll put a satellite in space. That's how I feel. There's no mountain you can put there that I won't be able to get over or under or an ocean that I won't be able to cross because I've got study tech. And then I computed method one. And afterwards, it was I was standing on top of the world, like looking at everybody down and going like, I wish they can be where I am. And then I come onto the Pro-TRs and the clay table processing and that CTP just blew me away. I was stripping away things on comm and relationships. You know, by the time you get to do the drills, you pretty much got it made because you put everything in clay. <laughs> you know, got rid of anything else that's not supposed to be there. So it's like, oh, just tell me to start. We <laughs> sat there like, okay. And the supervisor came over and said, pass. And I was like, really? Two hours completely 100% no problem. Just sitting on a chair and you're changing your life. I mean, it's mind-boggling. And on the pro metering, my competence was just so in on being able to use the meter. I've never felt so competent at anything in my life before. I was doing this assessment, like I had the, so much read. Small fall, fall, long fall, blow down, tick, tick, small fall, fall. And just I pick up everything. I thought it would take me years to learn that. And in less than two weeks, I was a pro metering graduate. And with the academy levels, I know I can say to a PC, this is a session. And I know he will be offending and cogniting at the end of that session. We're doing these courses 10 times faster, and yet I'm 10 times more confident as an auditor. And when the supervisor said, it's a pass, I was jumping off my chair and I said, yes, I can audit. I can audit. Now, even with the simple processes at the beginning of the academy, you get the pieces so winning. I finished the course and I said, no, I want to audit more. Give me more pieces. Because I'm going to bring another being to the state of clear. And that, like, there is nothing more incredible than that. The case gain that is possible with this new golden age of tech, I think it's limitless. The road is free now. Before the period, it was like I had the 100 pounds weight in my backpack, and now it's just no weight. I went like from the bottom of the tone scale, being you know wooden, dead, apathetic, whatever, to bam, up to the top. And I can run about, I can climb mountains, I can even go for Mount Kilimanjaro now. I'm 68 years old, but I feel like I'm 15. I just got this little boundless view of the future. My OCA increased by 690 points since finishing the pure if so I just see things totally different now and the survivor rundown is fog lifting it's like the blurry stuff it just went away and you feel you feel here all my attention units went into PT and you have like spidey senses you're like whoa and you turn around and go whoa something's falling off the counter and you just grab it it was so cool because I backed out of my head and I was like, oh my god, it's all just mess. And here I am. I'm not part of that. And then with Zero, it's like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> and since then, I really have no backup to communicate. Grade one was not what I was expecting. I thought that I was going to come out with an ability to handle problems. And instead, I just didn't have any anymore. <laughs> with grade two, I was free to soar. I was free to get out of the river, out of the mud. With grade three, now I'm like, well, what else can I get involved in? What else can I do? What else could I change in my life? What else could I make happen? And great for and running surfax. I don't have those postulates anymore. <laughs> 
So I had to create new postulates. And after completing Power and Power Plus, I feel limitless. And being able to operate on that kind of a bandwidth is new. You know, it's kind of unheard of. And then your aerodynamics is a time machine. You take uh, down the time track very fast. And then like Elmer Fudd, you know, going, a hunting we will go, right? You're going out and you're going, you're going to shoot end ramps, man. And you're coming out the other end with something gone. I was like, oh my God, this is happening. This is real. Did I dream it? <laughs> and then I was touching my bracelet and then it was like, no, still clear. I've been clear 13 days and I'm not over it yet. I'm just... <laughs> To be honest, I'm still not over it. <laughs> Car Resurgence Rundown is like a training cap for OT. Like my ability to decide to generate energy or not at my cause, at my choice, just went through the roof. All of a sudden, I was just pouring energy into my body from above. And then something in my space exploded. And I just realized that I had no ridges. They were just not there. They were literally gone. It's like a canopy coming off of my entire universe, you know? Wow. I occupy a lot of space. And I can operate finally as a fake. And then after doing a superpower, I know I'm a much bigger, better, sometimes even more dangerous player. You are the king of your universe. And it's not just a phrase. I went through the frontiers of the mass universe and then I started feeling the data universe. Like being 50 feet down in the ground and coming out into the light. And I felt like in a muscle car you like rev the engine and I did that as a being. I was like mm. Because I was able to boom, 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 I'm gonna do this and do that and that's going to happen and then it happens. All effort is gone. Really living life for the first time. And moving forward in a hurtling charge over the rampart, that's superpower. Scientology today, it's like getting on a speedboat and the horizon is eternal from player to eternity. Actually, it's happening now. You want to go clear? Hello. Two months, 36 days for me. What is that? I did the solo course, OT1, 2, 3, and 4 in three and a half months. And I this to my OT5 on my 19th birthday. The amount of power I've gotten in so little amount of time gives me goosebumps. I have never had so many wins. Every second, every moment, every day. There's so many, I can't even like remember them all. Like I've had like floating tone arms all over the place. Just fireworks of cognition. I feel like I've been granted a new life. It's not just life changing, it's eternity changing. Not just the future of just this planet, there is a future. This is the golden, golden age. This is a platinum age. That dream of clearing the planet is actually now coming to life. Mm -hmm.